This Might Be Risky sponsorship package is here. Have your ad run on our live streaming episodes, linked in the video description and attached to our many hot take clips. The channel is fast growing with thousands of views and subscribers. Don't miss your chance to grow your business on one of the fastest growing platforms on YouTube. Join the family today. This might be risky. Email us at this might be risky at gmail.com if interested. Hashtag indeed. Hashtag do the right thing. Okay. Gotcha. What you think, Q? Can y'all hear me? Yeah. All right. First of all, I got to disagree with you, Asia. Um, I think people, if you're talking about learning by example, uh, teaching by example, I think there are people who do teach their children to cry over BS. Um, BS is relative was the only point I was making, though. Oh, Okay. Like I said, I think there are people who teach their kids to cry over BS. Um, like, just bullshit ass, non important, not that serious shit. Um, so, and they teach them by example. Um, I think that as far as doing a, a little bit of research and, and looking up the definition of toxic, toxic masculinity, I don't think there is a such thing. Um, because the definition of toxic masculinity equates to feminine traits. So the shit that is defined in that is shit that niggas do when they are bitch made. Um, wow. <laughs> when, when I read the definition. Read it. You have it still, Q? Oh, no, I don't, have it. I don't have it on me right now. But basically it's like when you use uh, control and violence and all that other shit. Like, if you're a man who has to operate in that way, that's some bitch shit. So that's not even masculine in any way. So at that point, the, the masculinity part is taken completely out of there. Toxic masculinity, it just doesn't go together. It doesn't make sense. Um, but that's just, this is just my opinion. Let me land. Um, so no, to me, there is no such thing as toxic masculinity. Damaging uh, violence or violence that's used damaging in a damaging way from uh from men uh you know as far as masculinity that, that shit doesn't even go in the same category you was a bitch ass nigga um i think that i think that um uh as far as the crying shit and men suffering in silence i'm probably gonna piss a lot of people off by saying this I think there is something powerful about men suffering in silence. And I don't think that it's a negative thing. Okay. However, I think that because there are so many fatherless men, men nowadays are a lot more feminine, a lot softer. So there is therefore a need for them to suffer in the face of other people. <laughs> Man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I'm just so so when so when I've said and and, and I've said this before, uh black men need therapy, that would apply to most black men nowadays because there's a lot of black men being raised by single mothers and grandmothers and aunties and, and just a lot of people that are you know, they don't have that strong uh male influence. But I think when you do, you know what it means to suffer in silence. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, and yeah. I speak from experience, like I'm the kind of person that like, I, I, have, I have a lot of masculine energy. I think it part in part, it's because of my life's experience. The other part is because, you know, I've been raised around a lot of guys. So for me, something that doesn't apply to most women does would apply to me. Like if I'm under a lot of stress, let me go for a long car drive. That's not like I'm mad at you, I hate you, uh, or I don't, you know what I mean? It's not all that soft shit like, oh, you don't want to be around? What that mean? It, I need to get my mind focused. That's what the fuck that means. You know what I'm saying? But I'm by myself. It's, it's so I totally get that idea of suffering in silence. I don't know if I'm making sense to any one person on the panel right now, but that's just my opinion. I, you, 
you got me the the part that you specifically brought up that I actually wanted to bring up was the fact that the the suffering and silence of men. I feel like with me specifically, it allows me to allow somebody to lead. If I feel like you can do everything because not saying it's a good thing, but because you can do everything, I'm going to follow your lead because I don't see what hold you down or hold you back to me. You're a superhero to me. You can do anything. So it allowed me to be at my softest moments and allows me to stand in my femininity or however you want to say it <laughs> due to the fact that you do have due to the fact that you have kind of suffered in size. Not saying that it takes you over the board where you try and kill yourself type of thing. Right. I'm, I'm talking about just plain old. You want your man, you want your man to suffer in silence because you can only follow a superhero. No, no that's not what she said. Not, that's that's not what she said. That's not what I'm saying. No. She well, said yeah. that nigga show any kinks in his armor, she might not be able to follow him. So that nigga needs to be that's flawless. Not, that's not that's not Corey. What you're doing right now is what women tend to do, which is they'll listen to somebody in part and then try to translate. I listen to the saying, whole thing. I, 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 so hey, but first I listen to the whole thing. thing. You're trying to translate what she's saying. Like I, I'm trying to understand. I, I feel like what I said was no clear. What I said was pretty clear. clear. You know, again, if we're expecting somebody to lead us, that means that we know what the fuck they're doing and what they're talking about. If I see you crying all the fucking time because something comes you. up, you right. think I'm gonna think that you can handle some shit? If I see you crying every fucking Makes five minutes, the shit you come across, no, I'm gonna think you're a bitch. Okay. So because you have your moments where you suffer in silence, not oh, again, not right. saying that I applaud somebody suffering in silence, but because you got it, and I don't, I'm, I'm not worried about it because you got it. Th th that puts me in a position where I'm like, I know he could leave, but if I'm in a fucking jungle with somebody that. Five, two and scared as fuck crying all the time do i think that this nigga can help me no i'm not gonna think <laughs> he's a bitch you're talking in hyperbole though mary no one yeah. no man don't cry, cry every five minutes yeah. like of course I, I i don't want i don't want to talk in hyperbole um so let me ask you a question mary if, if your man shows you vulnerability okay, is that is that a problem for you no, it's not. My man comes to me about okay. everything first. But if he okay. cries so, when he when he shows it, that's a problem. I'm not, again, I'm not saying that I did not say anything was I did not say that oh there's not an issue with somebody being vulnerable or some I didn't say that. I didn't How say can he show you vulnerability that you're comfortable with? Well, I'm I'm comfortable with any way that he comes to me. No, you just said you wasn't comfortable with yeah. him crying. I didn't say I wasn't comfortable. Now you're, you put your hands in my mouth. You're mismatching. I mean, there is a she, did, she did not say that at all. She said I'm, it's not complicated. Y'all no, making this shit way too He said yeah, she can look up to that guy that's doing that. She didn't say it was anything wrong with him coming in a certain way or being vulnerable, as AJ said. She literally she just said, said it was bitch made. She said it makes her feel some kind of way when this guy handles things a certain kind of way. That's all. That's what she said. She ain't but saying that he's you... no weaker, no. That's no, not she what said, she said. She literally but... said, if that nigga's crying, crying, I don't feel comfortable following minutes, him in the jungle. I'm going to think you're a bitch. She yes. said, said crying crying over every little thing, every little every thing. Little like little every situation, he's sitting back crying and bringing it to her. But it that's works. that's not what we're talking I'm about. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Not even me as a woman. I'm not gonna come to you every five minutes that some shit don't. Friend, and we out. <laughs>